Hello everybody and welcome back. Now this week where I am in West Yorkshire, Northern England, the temperatures took a, or the weather took a change this week and it's a change for the better. Because after having single figures, pretty miserable weather. It's now gone up to sort of like between 11 and 15 every day for the last few days. And then on a night, seven, six, seven at the lowest, so no frost. So pretty good weather now, above average I'd say, most days. A few sunny days. So you might be thinking, can I, uh, can I start planting out, getting some stuff in the ground? Like, if you're like me and you've been buying plants over the winter, you might be raring, itching to get them in the ground, because I know I am. So, and I'm just talking about hardy plants here, nothing tender or half hardy house plants, anything like that, just fully hardy plants. So, can you get them in the ground? Well, technically, anything that's hardy and in a pot, you can... Uh, plant it in the ground as long as it's not ground it frozen or waterlogged so in that sense yeah you can start planting out but I think there's a few things that you have to think about with the plants that you are planting so I think the first thing you need to do is check the weather forecast for your area I mean, you can get long there are long range forecasts on the internet I mean, they're not they're not uh, fully reliable but I suppose no weather forecast is but they have got an idea uh, what what's coming so just check that make sure there's no bad weather coming for your area no hard frosts or anything like that this time of year middle of March it should be pretty good now so yeah make sure you check the weather forecast and then the second thing is just know the, what you're planting you know it might the plant might be fully hardy but when you put it out if we do get some frost and stuff like that is it gonna knock the leaves back Know, frost the leaves off, blacken them off, and is that, is that going to knock the plant back, or is it going to knock the stem back, or stop it from flowering, or anything like that? If anything that's going to impact the plant going forward, it's probably best not to plant it out just in case. Because I mean, the weather, the weather in England can change on the wind direction. If it comes in from the north, we start getting bad weather where, where we're positioned in the world. So it is worth knowing what you're planting. No, because it, it, you are better off waiting over a couple of weeks rather than putting a plant out, it getting frosted off and blackened off and it just not looking good. And then I think the third thing you've got to consider is that the soil is still cold and wet. No, is that plant going to like it if you put it in the ground? Sitting in cold, wet soil. No, is it going to sulk? It, it can get, plants can get stressed as well. No, put it into a condition that I don't like. So is it just going to sit there sulking, you know, and then when all the pests and insects come out in a couple of weeks, when they see a, a plant like that, they tend to just attack it and eat it. So you've got to think about all these things, a few things co to consider. But there are some good points to planting out now. First off is, I mean, it's the middle of March, so if you get something in the ground now, compared to last year, we couldn't really get out, out until the middle of April. You're talking you've gained an extra month this year so that plant's going to be in the ground it's going to be using the nutrients and water it's going to be interacting with your soil getting used to your soil so it's going to have a longer season a nice long growing season which will make it better going into next winter and then another point is you're probably not going to have to water it it's normally wet enough at this time of year i mean you could be talking another month's time we could be in a drought that's just how it's going now. We do tend to get less rain in April these days. So at least at this time of year, you, you're probably not going to have to water it, or water it less, because there's uh, plenty of rain knocking about. So that's a, that's a good thing, that's one thing to consider. It is better when you don't have to water a plant. And as well, f for me, if I can get stuff in the ground now, I can clear space in greenhouse which means that I can bring stuff out of the house into the greenhouse and start the process of getting ready for summer you know moving stuff from one place to the other adding it off stuff like that so yeah there is a few things to consider a few pros and cons so if you're still thinking yeah I want to get planted out 
then there's stuff that you can do to help your plants. So like for me, just because of the room in the greenhouse, I had to bring this uh, Fortuna cross with Princeps out here. So basically what I'm doing now is that I'm hiding it off. So it is a good idea if you've got a plant, especially if you keep it in house over winter. If you just bought it like I had the local in the house. And you, 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 when you bring it out, you want to hide it off, because it, especially for me outside, for inside to out, you know, there's, big, there's big temperature differences outside between day and night. And then even from the greenhouse, out there you're getting all the wind, the rain, the sun, because plants can get sunburnt as well. They're pretty temperamental. So yeah, it's a good idea to put it outside. It's in the shelter here for me. It's getting the weather. So in theory, what I should really have done was keep it here for a couple of weeks or a week or so, move it out a bit, and then eventually have it fully out. But for an hardy plant, it should be fine. So all in all, me personally, I probably wouldn't be planting out a lot of stuff now, just because is it really worth it? You know, you can, another couple of weeks time. We're probably going to be clear of the frost, so it might be better off waiting a couple of weeks. Personally, I'll just wait a couple of weeks rather than get in it, unless I'm, unless I'm really tired for space. But I'll tell you what, for this video, I'll plant this out. I'll find a spot for it in ground and I'll get it planted out. Then we can see, you can look at it, see how it does, see how it reacts. If we do get some more frost, see what it's like. So yeah, I'll get that planted out. So I'll find a spot for that. So while I'm doing that, I'll show you what winter protection I've still got on. So I've still got the macrophylla under this cover. Probably don't need it anymore. I just haven't got round to moving it yet. So I probably will do it a couple of days time. Like I said, I don't think we're gonna get any bad frost now. I haven't fully uncovered the banana, but there is an hole in the top of this bag. So I've just let it poke through. You can see how much it's growing here. I mean, the other day when I did it, it was it was about to here, so it's grown like this in a couple of days. So it's just a matter of time before I take that off. I've took the fleece out of the tree ferns, so they're ready to go now. Always going to bang some more back in. I've still got the shelter on the Jubea and the Booty Rodorata down there, but again, that's just uh, when I get round to it, I'll take that off. I'll probably just take the cover off and leave the posts in and if anything does bad come, I can just put that back on. Still got the Psycast Revoluta under the cover. I'll, I'll leave that for another month or so. Because, I mean, to be fair, when you've come this far into winter, there's no point losing anything now. Yeah, it's still got the cover on the boot here. Again, I'll probably just take this off and leave the posts in. And that'll be fine. I've also moved me an Ardy hibiscus to here the other day because this is, this is a good time of the year to move plants and divide stuff and stuff like that. I actually uncovered the gunner a, a few weeks ago and it's grown away nicely now. You can see where it has been hit by a couple of frosts that we had about two weeks ago. But yeah, that's, that's uncovered now, growing away. And then there's just the added bed. So yeah, I've still got the added bed covered. If it were going to be reliably dry, I would take this off. But it doesn't look like it's going to be so dry. Plenty of rain coming still, so I just keep this on. There's no point losing anything now. Put a bit of cardboard in there just to stop any dripping. But yeah, that'll stop on until we start getting drier weather. Yeah, so I think I'm going to stick this palm in here, in this bed. Got the volcano palm there, but that is slow growing, so I think it'll look good. With a bit of height here. I've placed it in a few spots around the garden, just to see what it looks like in different places. I did have this spot in mind, so I've put it here now. I'll just, I'll just leave it in the pot there for about half an hour. While I walk around and just see what it looks like from different angles, make sure I'm happy with it. It's always worth making sure that you're happy, then you don't have to move it later on. So I'm happy with it there. And I'm going to divide the Miscanthus giganteus, put it some on this side and some here, so that I'll have the height there, then you've got the palm. 
I've got the salvia amistad in there and normally put my aeonium drown this way so I think it'll finish that bed off just nice so I'll get that palm planted now right so that's the palm in the ground hopefully it'll do fine grow away well and have a good long growing season I'm sure it will can't see this palm being damaged now uh, got it in ground got a bit of bit of a mulch around it, a bit of compost I'll start feeding the palms next month so yeah hopefully that'll do well in that spot right thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe bye